I have kind of a love-hate relationship with goals and goal setting. On one hand, I mean, they're great. I've been setting goals for a long time, and people that are my generation, millennials or whatever, I think are probably more inclined to set goals than other generations. I think they're more entrepreneurial, which is awesome. But the problem that I see with people setting these three-year goals or five-year plans, it seems like they just take that goal and the fact that it's three years away or five years down the road, and they kind of use that as an excuse to procrastinate. And so they don't really make progress on a daily basis. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. We're filming a documentary about the San Francisco art scene. Okay. And it's documenting my journey trying to get my art into MoMA in 90 days. <laughs> so it started on uh, June 1st. Okay. Goes till August 31st. We're making a short film every single day. I'm just rolling into MoMA with art. I have no idea if they'll actually let me bring it inside. <laughs> that might be against policy. And uh, the fact that I'm bringing it in a paper bag. Is, is pretty awesome. No business card, no nothing, just, uh, just art. What's driving you with this? Because it's a lot of work. Mm -hmm. So I think, and it wasn't necessarily like the plan from the jump, but what is kind of now really keeps me going and like really excited to wake up and do this project. We have a lot of people that are, that are following the project and them getting inspired to like start whatever crazy goal they have is the, like the most rewarding part of it all. What are we filming? On what? Trying to get my art into MoMA. Nah. -uh. Oh. Yeah, I brought it. Hoping, they, hoping you guys will just take it today. Oh. Um, who would be touching about that? I don't know. You need to do an SF MoMA filter for 90 days to MoMA and try and just cover the whole building if we can. I don't know if you've seen the video that I posted on Facebook um, about the petition, but I'm starting this petition that is, uh, well, to get MoMA's attention. So I was thinking about doing something where. I write an open letter to SF MoMA and give them a ton of ideas on how to market, like to the millennial generation, to the younger generation. What are you going to do that's going to differentiate you from Shepard Ferry? I just, I don't know. Because I as think, an artist, you're going to learn so much through yeah, this process. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I think that I will, I'm a, because now doing this project is forcing me to like paint a lot too. And so I think that in the 90 days, I'll probably kind of find my style in terms of like the differentiator that does differentiate yeah. me from every other artist. You know, he, he never sees his cup as half empty. He he's always sees it as half full and filling and filling. Optimist's attitude um, has always been very much with him. Things are gonna work out, they're gonna be good, they're gonna, things will work well. And I, you know, I personally think that's a wonderful trait. If anyone could do it, I would say Blake could do it. He could make it. Oh.